peasants. Thousands and thousands of peasants. But the real question is, how many peasants does it take to defeat the uber units of Total War Warhammer? They're ugly, they're dirty, all they have are shovels, pitchforks, and cheap weapons, on top of their already very soiled clothing. They come from cheap shacks in the land of Bretonia, and yet, they fight, and nay, they die at your command. How many will die today at the hands of one of our favorite characters in all of Warhammer, Mr. Gorbul, otherwise known as Al Gorbul, making an unsuccessful run as uh, emperor of all mankind and all beast kind. Um, apparently uh, there were a couple of issues with this platform of destroy all humans. Who knows why? But yes, there's an army of peasants against him, and how will he fare? How many peasants will Gorbul take with him to the grave? All of them? Some of them? Let's see. Let it begin! So, at this point in the video, you should be seeing a poll pop up where there's a poll in the cards for the video. Please go click that poll and there'll be a guess that you can take to see whether or not you guessed the right number of peasants and do it before the end of the video because that's what's going to make this fun. So go take your guess at how many peasants Gorbul is going to eliminate. We know one thing, there's going to be a lot of peasant entrails all over the battlefield known as the multiplayer crossroads. That's right Gorbul, you show them buddy, you show them. Ooh, that right there was Gorbul's 100th dead peasant. And the slaughter looks to continue for quite some time. How's his health? Let's take a quick look. Health is still looking quite good at 100 peasants in. And counting for the one, the only, Gorbul. And with that barrel roll, there goes the 200th peasant. That's right, 200 peasants. The body count is starting to pile up. In fact, the uh, bodies are disappearing off the battlefield in an effort not to destroy my CPU. But the beautiful scene of carnage continues as the peasants try fruitlessly to stop Mr. Gorbul. Here's his health in the current situation, having passed uh, right up to about 215 peasants. How far will he go, folks? He's not done bowling yet. Folks, with another terrifying barrel roll. Gorbul is 300 peasants into his uh, evening leisure here. Good grief, those rusted, crusty spade shovels were just not the right weapon to bring against such a foe. <laughs> and Gorbul cares not. At this point though, Gorbul is exhausted. He has killed over 315 peasants, or 315 at this exact moment. There it goes, now more than that, so yeah, he is tired. How much longer can he last? Here's the state of his health. It's looking like he's got about 40%, 45%, something like that. We'll catch you back and see if he can make it to 400 and maybe beyond. All right, folks, Gorbul is 399 peasants in. Things are not good for him. He is starting to waver due to the huge number of peasants and the exhaustion gets to him and he is defeated. But how many peasants did it take? That's right, 403 peasants, to be precise, in order to defeat a single Gorbul. So that is the cost in blood of peasants that it takes to defeat Al Gorbul, noted politician of the old world. What do you all think? Did you enjoy this? If so, tell me which unit you want to see next. And when I say unit, it can be any unit. It can be a single entity unit, like Gorbul. It can be an infantry unit, it can be a cavalry unit, it can be a monster unit, a flying unit, a magic unit. You name it, how many peasants does it take? Air of Carthage signing out for now. Hope you all enjoyed this. If you did enjoy it, make sure to subscribe. There'll be more content headed your way. Appreciate all of you showing up. Appreciate MSI sponsoring the build that is helping me to record this. And I will see you next time on How Many Peasants.